okay here we are going to discuss about the compression spring type bending strike first of all its components first thing is the starter motor from the starter motor there is an armature shaft also the armature shaft is splined that means it look like this okay and above and above over the uh, armature shaft there is a sleeve the sleeve is above the splined armature shaft that means when the splined armature shaft is rotating the sleeve sleeve also rotates okay the next thing is the pinion the pinion is over the sleeve and it is attached to an unbalanced weight the unbalanced weight is provided to move to move the pinion from right to left rather than when the engine when the starter motor starts it will be rotating on the sleeve to to prevent that an unbalanced weight is provided okay next thing is the springs we use two springs here one is between the sleeve and the nut and the second thing second spring is between the collar and the unbalanced weight the flywheel that has to be meshed with the pinion is situated here that is when the pinion moves from right to left and it is meshes with the flywheel okay now coming into its working when the starter motor starts the armature shaft rotates when the due to the armature shaft is splined and the sleeve is over the splined armature shaft the sleeve also rotates okay when the sleeve rotates the pinion along with the unbalanced weight is mounted over the sleeve that means when the sleeve rotates it moves from right to left due to the unbalanced weight attached to it it cannot rotate rotate on the sleeves okay it moves from right to left also during that period the spring here that means the one between the collar and the unbalanced weight gets compressed and the pinion moves from right to left during the motion from right to left the pinions gets in mesh with the flywheel when it also it touches the collar okay during the meshing process the torque of the armature shaft is distributed to the flywheel it causes the flywheel to rotate at a at a speed and it causes the engine to start okay after uh, and during that period the this this surface of the unbalanced weight get in contact with this collar okay that means it cannot move further this will be the end of the unbalanced weight it cannot move further and it touches this surface since the unbalanced weight and the pinion cannot move further the sleeve here that will be always rotating moves from left to right okay now the now the sleeve moves from left to right through the pinion now the pinion is here okay also during that time the starter motor gets off that means the engine is running and the starter motor gets off also the flywheel is running at a higher speed it causes the pinion that is in mesh with the flywheel also to run at a high rpm so when the pinion is running at a high rpm it moves from left to right through the sleeves okay through the sleeves the pinion moves from left to right also the mesh between the pinion and the flywheel loses and it causes the engines to start and the starter motor gets off after the engine gets started after that everything comes to rest position and it is same as before when the engine before getting started okay this is the working of the combustion spring drive when it strike if you like the video please subscribe